What up, people? This is Bunja. I'm out here in Chiovo on the Adriatic Sea with that new hitter on. Looking pink, fresh in my pink mink. Um, this video is going to be about um, the comparisons of living in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada to Okra Gorni on Chiovo Island in Croatia. Um, things I miss things I necessarily don't miss and just overall comparisons uh, so let's get into the video Woo! this is the Bonjo show this is not your show we traded the 905 for Chiovo this is Bonjo show Bwah! so things I like about living here in uh in Croatia is the first thing is I get to watch football, as in soccer, at night. No go met for Croatians. I get to watch this at nighttime instead of seven in the morning on a Sunday after a night of drinking or 10 in the morning on a Saturday after a night of drinking. You know what I mean? I get to watch it like it's hockey. Uh, usually the games are on from six to nine o'clock here, so it's perfect all the time. Um, then it's perfect to go to sleep after because you get a couple wobblies and then go to sleep that's like that's like the one thing and uh the obvious thing is look at the water i live on the greatest water on the greatest sea in the world probably the sea is breathtaking you know what i mean uh, i live my house is like five meters from the sea um and you get to swim all summer in perfect clean water. Uh, that's another thing. That's that's amazing. Like, look at this. You get to live on the Adriatic Sea. The Adriatic Sea, which is a suburb of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, that's a huge thing to me. And look at this. I love it. And uh, look at me. I'm in a t-shirt with sunglasses and sunblock on. And you know what month it is? It's February. We don't get snow here really. Maybe once every six years. But um, damn, we don't get snow. Right now in Hamilton, where I'm from, there's like two feet of snow everywhere. There's slate, slush, ice. Oh, you gotta worry about uh, getting all the salt on your pants when you're walking through the snow. People from here don't even know that struggle, that salt struggle, you know? Tracking that salt in, you know? driving your car in while the bottom rusts out they don't got that they don't got they don't got uh cars that drive in the winter like that so you can their cars last forever here and that's another thing the vehicles the vehicles are kind of weird here you can't get your uh ford mustang or your uh chrysler k car or anything like that here but you can get a renault you can get a a European version of the Ford Focus. You can get uh, an Oct Octavio or something. <laughs> and you can get a Lada Neva. Lots of Lada Nevas here. Uh, a nice Soviet car. Uh, that's the car I'd like. A Lada Neva or a Vespa, a Vespa Ape. Uh, those are great. So you get a little bit weird uh, cars. And uh, with staying in the same lane as cars, it's actually expensive here for cars, especially if you're Croatian and living in Croatia and working here in Croatia. Cars are expensive. And so are electronics. Electronics, I miss, in Canada, you can get electronics for cheap, man. Just, I mean, you can still get them cheap because you still got the internet, but a lot of places don't ship to Croatia. Um, so really you got to get somebody to buy it in Canada and then ship, ship it to, uh, Croatia because uh, if you go to an electronic store here you'll be paying out the booty hole for that um, for that iPad you know what I mean I mean yeah another thing is uh, I guess when you put the cost of living together the cost of living is kind of cheaper but if you compare it to the wages that they get here it's way too expensive so it's so it's like Canada but saying that saying that you could live here as a 
expat if you get a job and you don't have uh you don't have rent or anything if you come here and buy a house let's say you come here and buy a house you can live off a thousand dollars a month which is insane because if you think about it in canada you still got all the property taxes all the electric like all the electricity bills everything um car insurance all that so you can so you couldn't live off a thousand bucks a month in canada even though they say welfare is a, not even a thousand bucks i don't even know how people do it but um yeah like he, that's why it's still not that cheap because if you like a thousand bucks a month here they're they're um if you compare it to other countries like uh philippines or something like that you can live off like 300 bucks so five like a thousand bucks is kind of crazy you know what i mean um but it's still f fairly cheap especially if you're if you're retired or um you're you're in the army and you get some sort of payment settlement out of it or whatever or if you sold your house and you come here just to travel and live here you can buy a nice apartment uh by the sea for fifty thousand euros in tro gear a nice one fifty thousand euros and then boom you got a nice seaside apartment um in canada i don't think you can get something for that i know rent there is like in my city it was like two thousand bucks a month damn you know a minimum i think minimum i like the cheapest house in canada and hamilton now is five hundred thousand. shit you can buy a nice house with five apartments here for five hundred thousand. you know what i mean and it's on the sea on an island damn and uh the other thing i like here is that they're uh still old school and they believe in their culture a lot see my problem with canada is I don't, it's hard to identify Canadian culture because um, a lot of it's just mi mix, mixed up and people don't really have a culture. They don't have an identity anymore. What, that we're nice, that we like bacon or we drink syrup or that we play hockey? I guess those things are, those things are stereotypes, but culture, when you go to Canada, it's like, I guess if you get outside the big cities, you can experience like uh, culture, like if you go to maybe uh somewhere in quebec or somewhere up north or uh maybe newfoundland but hamilton toronto you don't really see that you don't really see culture anymore you see everything it's just mixed you know so i like it that they stay strong to their roots here and culture you know their old school thought their old school way of thinking um the other thing i like here is just the quality of living overall period the quality of living here i mean this is what bugs me is that the youth want to escape here because they think that the quality of living is going to be better because you make more money i can tell them by personal experience you come here whoo you breathe in fresh air your lungs aren't polluted whoo you can hang your laundry outside here the sp if they don't go black from the defasco whoo you know what i mean that's the life of living from a steel city to a remote island. Well, this ain't too remote. It's uh, cause it's uh, landlocked by bridges. So they consider this like a half island. Um, yeah, but those are lots of things. Oh, and now let's get into the things that I miss about Canada. I miss Arby's gyros. Woo, baby. Yeah, see, being as a, a plump little boy here, you, uh, we don't have fast food like that here. It's all, their fast food is made in front of you. It's not this microwave shit on a, in a drawer, you know what I mean? Like McDonald's. Um, you gotta travel maybe to Split to get a McDonald's sandwich. That's an hour away. We don't have McDonald's anywhere around where I live. Um, so that's pretty crazy. And the other thing that I like about here, once you're in Croatia and you live here, you get immunity, immunity for all the EU countries. And that's pretty amazing, you know? So you get to experience so many different cultures if you want and travel, because it's pretty cheap. And the other thing, it's cheap to fly and move around country to country. And usually it's no hassle-free, depends what passport you have. Um, and that's the truth, man. It's beautiful here. A few uh, more things that uh, I forgot to add. Well, here, I'll just add them now. Um, the safety here, overall safety, you can sleep uh, anywhere. Uh, you can walk anywhere any time of day and night uh you can show your money around you can sleep on the beach no one will bother you uh and also what that comes with the safety is 
there's no drugs there's no thieves running around sniping everything for drug money um so that's huge you know what i mean i think that's huge huge and uh fuck i had a couple more oh yeah <clears throat> and you can buy beer at any store any store you can buy beer any time of the day well up till nine so that comes along with there's no barely i i haven't found a 24-hour store yet so yeah i missed the 24-hour stores i guess um but this was uh eight kunas so the beer prices are substantially cheaper um it's cheaper than beer is basically cheaper than water i mean pop i mean shit might even be cheaper than water <laughs> if you get the right one you can buy beer for 3.99 kunas that is that's like what was three that's like 50 cents for a beer a can of beer 50 cents and trust me beer goes on sale a lot here like uh a lot a lot like uh you can buy low and brow which is uh three dollars a can probably in canada you can buy here on the average price five five kunas so that's one dollar so i mean that's pretty good for alcoholics here um <clears throat> but the other thing is the booze prices they get jacked up during the summertime so that sucks you know because they the people want them because they only have a short window to make their money so they make as much money as they can they jack the prices way up uh so that's kind of shitty but i mean because we don't really have to deal with that in hamilton where they're like tourist price no it's just the same price for everybody uh which is cool but i mean <clears throat> a problem i was talking to with a couple expats and uh, locals here, is, it'd be cool to have a tax deduction at the end of the year. So it, whatever you buy at the restaurants or or at the bars, you get all that money back at the end of the year. Because um, I think that's the only fair way, because that means if you do your taxes in Croatia, you basically live here. So that 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 that's good for the residents here, because going out to have a beer, 40 kunas for a beer sometimes for a Corona, <laughs> Name a local that can, that would buy that every day, you know? They'll just fucking drink a beer in front of the bar on the beach, which uh, a lot of people do. But, I mean, a lot of people also go buy that drink, drink, you know? Um, yeah, so this concludes it, and I'm done right there for sure. I covered all, all everything. The housing, the safety, the sea, the beaches, everything. The drinks, the stores. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching. This is the Bon Jo Show. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I could think about now. Um, I hope you like this video It's just a little uh, my opinion of what I think about it. I haven't did one of these in a while usually I'm doing these Croatia, but yeah uh, That's my opinion. That's what I miss. That's what I like. That's what I hate. Uh, I think I covered it all uh, Go to my website. This is bunjo.com and you can get one of these links in the bio Links in my about column. Links everywhere. Look at these stellar shirts. Boy, rocking that pink dink. Woo! Uh, yeah, once again, I do lives. Uh, live streaming for everybody. So if you guys want to come in, talk garbage to me, get something off your chest, bring up a topic, talk about my videos, talk about traveling, talk about uh, me going to Argentina, whatever you want. Well, I'm down for all that. So um, let's do this. Let's make some video. Let's make some magic. I'm always down for fun. Uh, I love doing a live stream. And uh, I think it's fun. It's the Average Joe podcast I started. So let's get it in.